Hello everyone and welcome back for another video and today guys this is a different type of uh, video This is not your normal, you know type of minecraft pvp or anything like that video today We are actually doing a tutorial on how you can port your own pc gen maps for your server and like upload them You know and all that good stuff and yeah So if you guys don't know what i'm talking about, you know pc gen like um for uhc servers example You know like those are basically maps, you know with surface caves, you know and all that You know how like in pocket edition hosting servers and all that like they can only you know do pocket mine gen maps or um you know um whatever but um yeah so basically i'm going to be showing you a tutorial how you can port your own pc gen maps for you know uh for your server and all that and then upload them and you know you can do all that because a lot of you guys have been asking how to do them and you don't know exactly you know how to do them like you guys have been asking that a lot and i you know i finally decided you know i'm gonna make a tutorial on how to do this and yeah so let's just get right on into it so first thing you want to do you know is uh google minecraft land generator i already have it open just so that we can get right onto it just minecraft land generator you know search it so yeah the first site you want to go to is sites.google minecraft land generator so you just do that you just click on it it'll wait for it to load up and um yes yeah. so as you can see you know before mlg yeah all that good stuff now what you want to do is you want to click download minecraft land generator i'll bring you up a little uh little github site but that's not really needed so you can just click this let's see before you download yeah you need to download the zip file the let's see where do we download i'm trying to remember where i actually did this yeah i think it's right here minecraft land generator so we'll let that download for a little bit. It's going to, um, you know, download all the stuff it needs. So and make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip for this process because you're going to need to unzip the, uh, the thing. So um, yeah. Let's see. See, th that should be downloaded about any time now. And yeah, okay. So now what you want to do is you just want to drag it to your desktop anywhere, you know, anywhere you want to do it. And um, let's see. Just waiting for this to open. Uh, make sure you have again WinRAR or anything like that. And yeah, let's see, let's just get rid of that for a sec. Um, let's see. Minecraft land generator. Yeah, this is it right here. So when you go into here, you get the source code. But what you actually want is to get this one out right here. This is the actual pro, the one you need right there. So then what you can do is you can just uh, delete that if you want to. Or just keep it, whatever you want to do. Open this up. And then you'll get this folder right here. This has everything you need. Oh, okay. Let me just discord right now. It's a little weird. Okay, so now what you want to do is just drag it to desktop. That'll extract it. Um, let's see. Let's see, dragging, uh, yeah, just replace files and destination. Yeah, so close that out. You can delete that if you want. I'm just going to keep it. And yeah, so basically we have right here Minecraft Land Generator. So what you want to do is you want to open that up. And then as you can see, we've got this right here. Now what you want to do, number one, you see that uh, Minecraft server, uh, Minecraft underscore server dot um, jar. What you want to do is you want to delete that. Now, before I go any further, you're going to need the latest version of Java installed on your computer. So, um, yeah, just Google Java, download the latest version. It's not that hard. What you want to do is you want to delete this out of here, Minecraft underscore server um, dot jar. It's 1.5.2, so you want to get a layer version. Then what you want to do, go to here, Minecraft jar, Google that. Um, you go to mcversions.net. So just wait for that to load up for a quick second. And then what you want to do is you go through here, find 1.8. Oh, God, go away. I'm going to have to mute that. Go to 1.8.9 server jar. You want to click that. It's going to download it um, as a, yeah, server 7. I had to get several copies. So that's why it says server 7. But it'll just say server.jar. It doesn't really matter. Um, just, uh, just press keep. And yeah, so then you download it into here. Drag it right into there, and then what you want to do is you want to click it, rename, and name it Minecraft underscore server. There you go. Got that done, Minecraft underscore server. Then what you want to do is you want to click, uh, where is it actually? Want to run MLG underscore initial setup uh, underscore windows. So you just want to click that. Basically then um, what it'll do is it'll basically... It'll basically set up everything for you so that you can do that and base it'll just set it up for you so that you it just sets up the whole thing it just installs it you know like so it's gonna do all that and um yeah just wait for it to so yeah i'm probably gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause the video real quick and then when it's done installing um we will be right back so see you guys in a bit okay guys so now um that uh now when it's finished you'll press it'll say press any key to continue just press enter or anything like that and yeah basically it'll be set up for you and then what you want to do next is you just literally just want to click run underscore mlg windows right here 
just click that open now you can do any size you want here this is where you enter your radius of the map that what you want to do so I'm just probably gonna do 1000 and then you press enter and for your Z value you just put a thousand it'll start porting and then yeah so basically it'll just do that real quick and yeah and then it'll just port the map all by itself and so then when this is done um we will be right back and yeah we're gonna let this port be right back okay guys so now that the porting is done basically what it'll do is um basically when you when the map is port is finished porting you'll say like chunk generation done completed in this amount of time and then it'll bring up your web browser you can just click out of that and yeah basically once it's done um it'll close and you'll get a world folder basically this is your pc gen map your map is already done then you can rename it to anything you want and yeah so you know that that is basically the that's the most basic tutorial you can do for a PC generated map that's kind of it then what you want to do is you can just take it go to your server and upload it but yeah that's kind of it guys um so server owners if you're watching this right now you know this is the base most basic way to do it there are ways to convert it to different file types but you know this is the most basic way I want to show you guys how to do it and yeah that's kind of gonna wrap up to this tutorial if you guys did enjoy it you know definitely feel free to slap that like button and if you guys do have any problems with this um you know just let me know down in the comments below if you have any issues and contact me on twitter if you have any um problems I can uh I can probably help you out with some stuff but yeah that's kind of the most basic tutorial now one thing is, if the map does not turn out to be like 1,000 by 1,000, even though you ported it in it, it's probably a little glitch, so next time you want to try port it, try port it like in 2,000 by 2,000, maybe that'll help it make it larger, I don't know, just, whatever happens, you know, just, just, um, let me know, let me know down in the comments or contact me on Twitter and yeah that's kind of going to wrap up to this tutorial um if you guys didn't enjoy uh you know definitely feel free to hit the like button and yeah um hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time in another video see you guys bye.